Hey guys, what's going on? It's G-Rad here, and today I'm going to do a short video demonstration of the entire setup. And uh, in this video demonstration, I'm going to record a very short track, something that I'm just going to make up off the top of my head. But I wanted to let you guys see the studio project in a in live environment or a working environment. And for that, I will do my best to give you audio description of what I'm doing. However, I cannot guarantee that I will be very accurate because I am going to be focusing just like any engineer should be when they're in the studio. So, <laughs> all right, right now I got Sonar up, so I'm going to start a new project. We're just going to control in. Untitled one browser. Master. Sonar X3 producer, untitled one track. Bus pane. Done. Okay, now, first thing I'll do is want to add some drums. So I want to use Session Drummer. So I'm going to, you know, Alt-I for insert. Audio track A. Down arrow until I get to soft sense, sense, and I'm going to arrow right one. over one, BSD down one, FC5, right over again, FC5, down until I find Lounge Session Drummer. Rapture RXP. Session drummer S. And there it Insert is. Insert soft synth options dialog. Insert synth into and project. And I'm going to make sure that I have stereo tracks. Synth track folder checkbox. Not first synth audio output checkbox. Not check all plus F. No. All synth audio outputs. Stereo checkbox. Check all plus L. That's the option I want. And there's another option I want. All synth audio. Open these windows. Grouping. Open these windows. Synth property page checkbox. Check all plus I B. I want to make sure the synth property page is open. Anything else synth is irrelevant. Property. Display automation. Recall assignable. Ask this every OK button. And processing tracks dialog. Now going to process the tracks. One second. Fifteen percent done. One second. And it's going to also bring up the one. interface. Have drunk it. And while I'm in the interface, there's a couple of things I want to do because I already know what I want to do here. I want to go to the mixer tab by arrowing over. Mixer. And I'm going to tab down. Kick output one. I want the kick to be in the first output, the snare to be in the second. Snare output one. So I'm going to hit snare, hit enter, menu. down arrow until I find two. 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 And then Session tab over to the hi hat. It's going to be in three. Hi hat output one. Context menu. Two, two, three, three. All the Session toms are going to be in four. Hi tom output one. Context menu. Three, three, four, four. Session drummer. Mid tom output. One check. Three, four, four. Session drummer. Low tom out. One check. Two, two, three, three, four, four. And Session drummer it. one untitled. Crash output one. Crashes are going to be in five. Context men. Two, Same with four, the ride. Five, five. Session drummer. Ride output one. Context men. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. And the Session drummer one untitled. In five FX one well. output one. Context men. Three, three, four, four, five, five. Session drummer. FX two out. One check. Three, four, four, five, five. Session drummer. FX three out. Context men. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Session drummer. FX4 out. Context men. 334455. Four, Done. Session drummer 1 untitled. Now it's going to tab back tab up mixer. to the mixer and drum kit tab. Kick output. Tab mixer. Mixer. Um, program new program. I'm going to right arrow. I mean left arrow over one. It's going to take you to the tab drum kit tab. Program new program. And I'm going to go to the program. But I'm going to give me level the, zero, um, I already know what kit I want to use. Class one of four, level zero. So when I bring this up, I'm just going to right arrow over Expanded. one. And it's going to expand items. the first lo option list. Level one. Smart loops. Type. Sonic Reality Bonzo Kit 2. Sonic Reality Brit Rocket 206. Inner. Dialog. Loading Brit C number 116. Dot wave. Loading Brit E197. Dot wave. Loading Brit E149. Dot wave. Program browser. Now I'm going to close the program window. Session drummer 1 untitled 1. And I'm also going to close the session sonar drummer window. Now I'm in the sonar interface, so I'm going to go to the tracks pane. Session drummer 1. Tracks pane. And session drummer 1 is going to be the drums MIDI because that's a MIDI track. Edit. Selected session. Selection removed. Tracks pane. Drums. I am recording drums with my keyboard, just so you know. And now you got 12 tracks coming up. There's going to be channels 1 through 24, but you're, I'm going to rename them and get rid of the extra tracks just so that way it's not confusing. Session drummer 1, session drummer 1 out, slash session drummer 2 out, stereo. Selection removed. Tracks pane. Kick. Session drummer 1, session drummer 3 out, slash session drummer 4 out, session drummer 1, session drummer 5 out, slash session drummer 6 out, stereo. Hats. Session drummer 1, session drummer 7 out, slash session drummer 8 out, tracks pane. Session drummer 1, session drummer 9 out, slash session drummer 10 out, stereo. Toms. Session drummer 1, session drummer 9 out, slash session drummer 10 out, stereo. Tracks pane. Overheads. Toms. Hats. Toms. Overheads. And I just named the symbol tracks overheads just for the simple simplicity. And then all these other ones? Session drummer 1, session drummer 11 out, slash session drummer 12 out. Session drummer 1, session drummer 13 out, slash session drummer. Session drummer 1, session drummer 15 out. Session drummer 1, session drummer 17 out. Session drummer 1, session drummer 19 out. Session drummer 1, session drummer 21 out. Session drummer 1, session drummer 23. Mini drums. Done. Sonar X. Overheads. Mini drums. Okay, and now I want to save this, so I am going to push the save button on my deal. I'm just going to give it a quick save name. Save this dialogue file name. File name. Combo box. Sonar X3. Producer demo track. Okay, Action. done deal. Now, okay, so I got the drums figured out. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure my keyboard is working. Which means everything has already been set. Um, if not, though, I'm going to look at track six, which is going to be my drum track, and I'm going to make sure the input is on MIDI Omni, and then output is going to the session drummer. Session drummer one. Task M U S A T. Session drummer one. And then the input. Dash none dash MIDI Omni. Done deal. All right, cool. And I'm going to arm this track. MIDI drums armed. Okay, now that MIDI, now I am ready to record some drums. I just don't know what I want to do yet.
Okay, I think I got an idea. I'm just going to do a really basic drum beat. Let me see what metronome speed I'm at. Play. I think oh. I can work with that. Let's see here. Record. Here we go. Let's record some quick drums right quick. Okay, it's a little sloppy, but that's okay. That's not what to be expected. Stop. All right, let's play it back. Check it out. Play. Turn the metronome off. And that was me messing with it, which I'm going to use that to my advantage later. Stop. I'll stick with it. Okay, so well, now that i got a little drum track that I want to work with, I am going to add a bass guitar track. So I'm just going to hit the insert just for a track. Track 7. And track 7 is going to come up. DB. Overheads, MIDI drums, arm, track 7. I want to unarm the drum track, and I want to arm track 7. Overheads, arm, MIDI drums. Overheads, arm. Overheads, arm. Uh, it won't let me arm that. It says it's armed, but it's not armed. Okay, um, so otherwise it would have told me it wasn't armed afterwards. I'm going to unarm that MIDI drum. And track 7, arm. Track 7 is now armed. I'm going to change it. MIDI drums, track 7, arm. Bass. Track pain. Bass, arm. And I already got my bass guitar up and ready to go, so all i got to do is reach over here, grab it. And um, I want to use a plugin. I'm going to use a VST plugin called Guitar Rig, and I will show you how that works here in a second. Okay, so let me get my level set for bass. And I want to go ahead and change my output and input and everything. I hope it's going to master. Bass arm mono. Bass arm. Ba right US 1800, US 1800, mic in 5. Bass arm. Bass arm mono. Right US 8, bass arm. Bass arm mono, right US 1800, US 1800 instrument in 9, left US 1800, US 1800 instrument in 9. Okay, so and then I'm going to make sure it goes to my master output, just like everything else is. Metronome, master. Okay, done. Now, it's ready for that. I don't even know what I'm going to play, so just, yeah, bear with me. Okay, um, got the bass connected. But what I want to do now is I want to turn on track echoing and turn off track interleave, which means it's going to be a stereo track. Bass arm. Bass arm echo. Now you can hear my bass. Let me turn it up. Now you can hear my bass. Okay. <laughs> um, I do want to insert Guitar Rig 5, so let me go find a Guitar Rig 5 for this track. Bass after last effect. Distortion. BST3, BST2, Absinthe 5, Absinthe 5, by filter 2, BO, Reverb 2K, Channel Tools, Guitar Rig 5. I'm going to insert it. Guitar Rig 5 is inserted as effect 1. Guitar Rig 5 7, bass demo, toolbar. Okay. Let me check my level before I go any further. Minus 15 dB. Minus 11 dB. Minus 11 dB. Good. I won't be clipping. All right. Um, let's uh, go to my bass tab. Guitar rig dial. List tag. No selection. This is done by NVDA using my Sibiac plugin. You won't be able to do this otherwise. New and GRF. Guitar amps. Bass amps. List sub tag. No selection. Bass pro. List group. No. List preset. Clean bass. Clean bass. Debase, debase. Wide stereo, wide stereo base. Debate, clean base, clean base. Okay, we we'll use that. Sonar X3, producer dim. Okay, and here we go. Now I'm gonna turn that volume down there, it's pretty loud. Alright, and um let me check my gate levels. Let me make sure my gate is assigned Help. to one of my pre Guitar rig five. RAC dot get. Wood chipped. Tap dot transpose. Sweet. I just want to turn. Twenty two percent. Thirty thirty eight percent. Fifty four percent. Ninety eighty three percent. Seventy five percent. Seventy one percent. Okay. Gates gates up and running where I want it. And that's one of my quick. Uh, that's one of my quick access encoders. So let me record some bass guitar and see what I come up with. Record.
Stop. Okay, my gate is a little too hot, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. 16% hell. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Center, Center that back up. 55%. 50%. Okay, now i got a bass track. Let's listen to it. Play. Let me um, actually stop. stop before I do that. I'm going to turn off echo. Bass arm. And I'm going to turn the tracks, and now it's Play. just a bass guitar. <laughs> Dash 3.8 dB, dash 3.3 dB, dash 3.5 dB. We're good there. <laughs> this is a simple Stop. little groove. That's all I was trying to do, and it worked. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to get my Git Fiddle out, and we are going to record some guitar tracks in the same manner. So let's get a new guitar track. I'm going to save my progress right quick. Uh, make sure I close my guitar rig. Sonar X3 producer dialogue. Save changes to demo. Yes button all. No button all. Cancel button. Okay. Sonar X3 producer demo so star track. Tracks pane. Okay. There's that. Now I am going to add two guitar tracks because I'm going to do two, but. I'll just do one at a time, obviously. So let's do this. Track eight. Track nine. I'm gonna go to track Midi eight. Drums. Bass. Track eight. Edit. Selected track. Guitar one. Tracks pane. Guitar one. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, where I am going to assign my input to. Guitar one mono. Guitar one. Guitar one mono. Right US eighteen hundred. US eighteen hundred. Line in eleven. Guitar one. Guitar one mono. Left US eighteen hundred. US eighteen hundred. Instrument in nine. And I'm gonna arm. Guitar one arm mono. Guitar one echo. arm mono echo. Uh, guitar one arm echo. I'm going to do that, and then this will allow my guitar to be ready to record whenever I get it connected, and I do want to insert guitar rig as well for this track, and that will, this is just going to be, I'm just going to do, as you can see, it's just a simple A, D, A, E, A, D, E, A, kind of simple chord progressions, just so that way I can give you an example of this thing, and I'm also going to add a key track too, so don't worry, I'm going to. I want to show off the SI strings and how to get to the session instruments and what they can do with the, um, yeah. Dash 1.7 dB. Okay. I don't know what that was for, but I think my uh, microphone cable got in the way, but that's okay. I'll fix it. It's going to have to come down anyways, probably. <laughs> All right. So now that i got my guitar in hand, let's turn it up. Turn it down on the input. Make sure my uh, input's not clipping. Select it. Dash 4.0 dB. Bass. Guitar 1 arm echo. Bass. Guitar 1 arm echo. Dash 3.8 dB. 0 dB. It's already clipping, so let me turn down the input. Minus 6 dB. Minus 8 dB. Minus 8 dB. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to add Guitar Rig 5 to the guitar track. Guitar 1 after last effect. And since the Guitar Rig 5 is already selected in the effects tree, all I have to do is just insert it. Guitar Rig 5 is inserted as effect 1. Guitar Rig 5 8, Guitar 1 demo. And I want to find some simple guitar tone that I want to use for this song, just something basic. Nothing too over elaborate or special, just a basic little, I don't know, country sounding. I think I have an idea. Let me get my microphone cable untangled here. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right, let me um, come to guitar rig dialogue. Current since I know I want to go for country, list tag no selection. GR mix, guitar amp, bass amp, styles, styles, list sub tag, ambient, alternative, blues, classic rock, what? country, country, list group no list preset no selection. Country twang, country twang clean. Comp twang crunch, comp twang crunchy. Country twang, country twang taped. Country twang, country twang driven. I think I'll work with that. Dash 2.8 dB. Dash 3.5 dB. Okay, so let me um, get my guitar pick out of my container. And... 
dash 3.1 dB, dash 7, dash 7.3 dB. Okay, let me turn this down a little bit so that way it's not in my ears. Okay, now I am going to make sure that my track is ready to go. Overheads, MIDI drums, bass, guitar one arm echo. Okay, so now I'm going to record some guitars and it's just going to be that simple. Record. Alright, that's one guitar track, and this is something a little groove. As you can see, this is kind of shaping out to be a fun little tune. Um, bass. Dash 3.1 dB. Da guitar, bass. Guitar 1 arm deck up. Bass. Dash 8.5 dB. And turn that down. Guitar 1 arm deck up. Dash 6.6 .6 dB. Okay. Dash 8.9 dB. I'm going to bring the drum uh, music up a little bit in the main mix so that way Dash 8.5 dB. Dash 6.1 dB. Dash, dash 1.9 dB. Dash 4.7 dB. Help. Master. Master. Dash 1.2 dB. Help. Master. 0 0.2 dB. That'll be working for now. Okay. Now, I want to add another guitar track, so I already got the track track. Nine. So, what I want to do is I want to go back to the guitar. Echo. I want to unarm it. Guitar 1 Echo. And un Guitar 1. Now, it's just on the guitar. But I want to pan this guitar track a little bit over to the right. 48% R. 56% R. That'll work. Now, I'll go to the next track. Track 9. And change guitar 2. Country Twain Driven. And I want to Solar close that. Solar S3. Out. Producer Demo Star Track. Tracks. Edit. Selected Guitar 1. Tracks Paint. Guitar 1, track 9. Edit. Tracks pane. Guitar 2. Okay, now i got guitar 2 in, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to insert guitar rig. Guitar rig 5 is inserted as effect 1. Okay, there it is. And um, I'm going to pan this into the left a little bit. No track map to the surface strip. Oh, wrong track. Okay. 32% L, 48% L, 56% L. Guitar 2 armed. Guitar 2 armed echo. And I want to change the input. Guitar, guitar 2 armed echo. Guitar 2 armed echo. Guitar 2 armed mono echo. Right US 1800, US 1800, mic in 7. Guitar 2 armed echo. Guitar 2 armed mono echo. Alright, now I want to, in guitar rig, I want to be able to change my tone. Guitar rig dial. List tag, no selection. GR mic. Guitar amps. Bass amps. Styles. List sub tag, no selection. No selection. Ambient. Alternative. Blues. Classic rock. Country. List group, no selection. No selection. OBS 60, OBS 64 C, invalid tag name dialog. Okay. Guitar rig 59, guitar 2 demo, list reset, no selection. Comp twang crunchy. Comp twang crunchy. Dash 6.6 .6 dB. Country twang clean. Country twang clean. Alright, let's um, just come up with something. <laughs> so here we go, you ready? Alright, um, this is uh, next track. Record. Stop. 
that'll work. Um, now I wanted to do that. I kind of screwed up intentionally there because I wanted to kind of go back and do something with it. Uh, but you saw that I kind of got a little groove going. It's got two guitar tracks, a bass track, and a drum track. Um, before I go any further, I want to do some editing on that second guitar track that I just did. So what I want to do is I want to find out where it is where I started changing the groove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my measure. Measure 5, measure 6, measure 8, measure 11. Stop. Okay, that's about where I, that's where I started playing the groove that I liked. Measure 14, B3. Measure 13. Measure 12. Measure 13. Measure 14. Stop. Okay, so now that I know that's at measure 14, uh, that's where I don't want to record any further from. Measure 13. Measure 14. So I want to punch out at 14. Auto punch. Punch out at measure 14, B1. But I am going to go back to the beginning of the song. Measure 4. Measure 1. And I am going to go to... Country twang. Pump twang crunchy. We're going to close out. Sonar X3. Producer dem Guitar 1. Guitar 2. Arm mono. And I am going to... Do a Control Shift A, then hit comma, which is going to select that track. Then I'm going to go to Shift F6. Select by time. And I want to select from, from one. Edit, through edit all plus T. Fourteen. Sonar X3 producer demo. Then hit delete, and now I just deleted everything up to that point. So I'm going to go to measure fourteen. Out at measure one B1. And I didn't mean to do that. Measure fourteen B1. Okay. Measure eleven. So, as you can see, so I'm going to go back to it. Measure 1B1. And now I am going to record what I messed up, and it's going to blend together just fine. Watch this. Record with punch. Done. Now let's play it back and check it out. Play. <laughs> that was me. It's done. Now, I am going to call it a day with the guitars. That's all I wanted to do. Just something a little simple. And I am unplugging, up the, I am unplugging the guitar now, and I am through here. Okay. Now, as you can see, I now have drums, some guitars, some bass, and now I want to add a little bit of keyboards. Just a little basic piano. And I want to use the session instruments piano, but I want to save this progress right quick. And now that I got that saved, I am going to add another VST instrument. This time it's going to be SI piano or electric piano. And I'm not sure if that's what I want to use or if I want to go to the Rapture and use the piano from there. So we shall see. I mean, yeah, Dimension Pro, excuse me, not Rapture. I don't have that one. Document word. window submenu. OBS 60. Sonar X3. Producer demo track. And I'm going to insert. Audio track. MIDI track. Soft synth. Plug in layout. VST 2. Cakewalk sound. Dimension Pro D. Uh, let's try to mention Pro. See what Insert soft synth options dialog. Insert synth into. I just want to do this with the stereo track. Synth track folder checkbox. Not first synth audio output checkbox. Not check all plus F. Checked. All synth audio outputs. All synth audio outputs. Mono checkbox. Not check all plus N. Enable video out. Display automation. Recall assignable. Ask this every. Okay, but cancel. But okay, button. Dimension Pro. Dimension Pro one. Okay. Sonar X three. Guitar one. Guitar two. Arm mono echo. I want to unarm that guitar track so I don't record on it. Guitar two mono echo. Guitar two mono. Guitar 2. Okay, now I want to check my Dimension Pro track. I'm going to arm the MIDI track. Dimension Pro 1 arm. And then that should do it. I want to make sure my input is on Omni and my output goes to Dimension Pro. Dash none dash. MIDI Omni. And I want to go back to my drum track. Guitar 1. Toms. Hats. Snare. By m making sure I choose track 6. Snare solo. Snare. And that'll tell me right there because I just, it's whatever uh, drum track that I have selected. Whenever I select the MIDI track that's coincided to it, it'll tell you what audio track you're on. So that's a good plus. It doesn't always do that, but it works. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that that is MIDI Omni None. Dash None Dash. And then I'm going to go back to my Dimension the last Pro. Through. Okay, now I want to look in Dimension Pro to see if I can find a good keyboard tone that I'd like. So let's get Dimension OBS Pro. OBS 64C. Up. Sonar X3, producer demo star track. 
Trash pane. Dimension Pro 1 primary output, stereo. I'm relooking the... Dimension Pro 1. Yeah, Dimension selected. Pro 1 is selected. Dimension Pro 1 demo. Program empty program. Okay. Program browser dialog. Pro list. Preview. Zero two pad. Zero three real bases collapsed. Zero four synth bases collapsed. Zero five drums collapsed. Five. Zero six percussion collapsed. Zero seven strings collapsed. Seven of twenty-five. Zero eight guitars collapsed. Eight of zero nine organs collapsed. Nine of twenty-five left. Ten electric pianos collapsed. Ten of twenty-five. Eleven pianos collapsed. Eleven of twenty-five level zero. Pianos. Extended. Sixteen item. Level one grand piano one before dot prod. Grand piano three before art. Grand piano. Grand piano three before sim dot prod one hundred and sixty-six megabytes four of sixteen level one. Grand piano three before dot. Grand piano. Grand piano. Mini piano. Mini piano. Mini piano. Mini piano. Saloon balloon dot prod nine meg. Tiny but bright dot prod fourteen megabytes fifteen. Vertical specimen dot prod fourteen megabytes sixteen of sixteen level one. I wonder what that sounds like. Dialog loading. Program browser dialog. Tree view. Vertical specimen dot prod fourteen megabytes sixteen of sixteen level one. Okay, that's uh. Wait, stop. Make sure that my uh, keyboard track's good. And what I'm gonna do here to make sure of that is I am going to check my inputs and outputs again. Dash none dash. Midi omni. Dimension Pro one. Dimension Pro one primary output. Dimension Pro one primary. Dimension Pro one on echo. Dimension Pro one primary output. Stereo echo. Play. Stop. I don't know why my uh, Dimension Pro is not giving me any sound. It was just my keyboard was doing the same thing earlier, so. We shall see what happens here. Okay, it works. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to record some drums. I remember that I've got to turn my keyboard on and off every time. After so long of doing something, it kind of times itself out. So, yeah. Let's see here. I'm just going to do a simple, I don't know. So, we shall see. I'm just going to hit record, and I'm going to have some fun. Here we go. Record with punch. Oh, I might want to fix that. Uh, to stop that, I am going to shift, and then I am going to... Loop. Loop off. Punch off. Okay, punch is off. Now I can just hit record. Record. There is your keyboard track. Stop. Okay, just something simple, nothing over elaborate, just short, sweet, and to the point. All right, now. Dimension Pro One Echo. Dimension Pro One. Dimension Pro One Primary Output. I'm going to change that so I can just. Tiny but right. Saloon Balloon Dot Prog 9 I'm going to close 14. this because I don't dimension need it anymore. I got Dimension Up. Guitar One. Guitar Two. Dimension Pro One Primary Output. Stereo. Tracks Pane. Piano. Dimension Pro One. Edit. Selection Remove. Tracks Pane. Edit. Selected key. Keys. Tracks Pane. Video. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Now I got me a nice little groove going here. Just let's play, play. back and check it out. <laughs> I'll show you how to get rid of all that in the beginning. Now let's do some quick mixing. It's just a quick mix. I'll show you how to do when we're in that precision stuff. All right, this is a simple Stop. little groove. It's all I wanted. Now I want to find out. I think I started on measure five, but I'm not sure. So we play. Play. One, two, two. Stop. I'll show you a quicker way to do it. Measure three. Measure four. Play. Stop. Okay. Now that I know I start on measure five, I am going to select all the tracks. Piano. Guitar two. Select R by control, control A, and I'm going to go to Shift F6. Select by time dialog. And I'm going to select by from time from edit all one. Plus through edit all plus T. To Selected 27 colon zero. Four. Selection and the reason removed. I want to do four is because the drums I cannot delete at all. Sonar X3 producer dim. Now let's see what we got. Play. Stop. Measure three. Play. Stop. Measure two. Play. Stop. Okay, that didn't do any of it. Guitar one. Guitar two. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to use Control Shift A. Select each one individually. Select by time dialog. Through edit all plus T. Selected 27 colon 04 colon 135. 2, 
five. Selection removed. Actually, what I'll do is I don't go to five all the way. I'm going to go to four dot eight dot nine hundred. Sonar extra. And then I'm going to delete it. Play. Stop. No. Guitar Same two. Same thing with guitar two. One, Select by through four dot Selection eight dot nine. Nine dot. Dot nine hundred. Sonar extra. Delete. Play. Stop. What the? It deleted the whole thing. It wasn't supposed to. Undo delete you. So Sonar extra. Undo this. delete. Guitar one. Guitar two. Guitar one. Play. Stop. So let me try that again. Select all. Select by time. Through. Edit. Four Selection dot. Move. Oh no wonder. Four dot nine hundred. Let's try that again. Sonar X three. Producer dim. Now this Play. should work. Stop. Okay, that's Guitar what it two. was. So let's do this. Same thing here. Select by time dialog. Four dot. Oh. Dot. One. Through. Third, edit all four plus. dot four dot nine hundred. Sonar X three. Play. Stop. Get rid of the key track. Piano. Select by time dialog. Through. Edit all plus. Same thing. Four dot four dot nine hundred. Sonar X three. Producer dim. Play. I'm gonna get rid of that drum intro there for a second. That little tip. Stop. Piano. Guitar 2. Guitar 1. Bass. MIDI drums. And I'm going to do that by simply going to MIDI drums. Select by time dialog. From, from edit all plus F. 1. Through edit all plus E. 4. Selection remove. Sonar X3. There we go. Play. Now I have a nice little intro. I got to. Done. Now the keyboards are a little loud. I'll notice that, so I'm gonna fix that. Piano. I'm gonna go to go to Guitar two. Piano. Dash four point seven dB. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the volume of the uh, studio down because I want to kind of listen to my. Um, I want to listen to my um, tracks. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to now do a overall listening to everything with the uh, now the Play. metronome is off so I should be able to just start it. Um, I do want to loop all the drums to a bus so let's do that right quick by inserting a bus. Bus D. And bus there's pain. bus D. I'm going to go down to the, the bus pane is already selected. Master. Metronome. Preview. Bus D. So I'm going to change Edit. bus D to Selecting drums. Bus. Selection removed. Bus pane. Drums. I'm going to go back to the tracks pane. Tracks pane. Piano. I'm gonna kick. go all the way to the kick. The first In the first five tracks, I'm gonna assign to bus to the drums bus by doing the uh, output selection, which is shift and the uh, stripping cutter. Metronome. I mean, guitar ring five. Guitar cutter. ring five. Guitar ring five. Oh. Guitar ring five. Guitar ring five. Drums. Drums. Preview. Drums. Metronome. Preview. Drums. Metronome. Preview. Drums. Metronome. Preview. Drums. Done. Now the drums all have their own track, but I'm gonna do a guitar bus as well. So let's start start a second bus. Bussy. Bus I'm going to change the name of Preview. it. Drums. Bussy. Edit. Bus pane. Guitars. And I'm going to go back up to the tracks. Kick. Tracks pane. First tracks. I'm, uh, first guitar tracks going to go over. Gain 1.4 dB. Gain 2.9 dB. Gain 0 dB. Preview. Drums. Guitars. And I'm going to... Snare. Piano. MIDI piano. Metronome. Preview. Drums. Guitars. And just so you know, I was changing the guitars, not the... Guitar 2. So now when I go down to the bus pane... Bus pane. Guitars. I'm going to... Now I can check the instruments. I'm gonna measure four, measure five. Okay, so we got the song started. Play. Guitar solo. Guitars. Drum solo. Drums. Stop. All right, cool. Now I want to get a level check on everything, so I'm gonna go back to the guitar two. tracks pane. Tracks pane. Piano. Guitar two. I'm gonna select the strip for guitar two, and I'm gonna check the level by playing while it's playing. I am going. Play. Minus eight dB. Minus eight dB. Okay, so Stop. let's see what the level is. Dash 6.1 dB. About 6.1 negative. Okay, so that's, that's kind of where I want to be for guitar, guitar one, one, I think. We'll double check Bass. that though. Guitar one. So I'm gonna select guitar one by touching it strip. Play. Minus 11 dB. Minus 11 dB. Minus 11 dB. Not quite as quiet as I. Thought. So let's find out where this level is. Dash 7.8 dB. Dash 6.6 .6 dB. Minus 8 dB. Minus 8 dB. Okay, that sounds pretty low. You gotta think that there's a lot more variables involved. But if I want it to six point one, I'm just gonna do the precision dialing. Dash six point five dB, dash six point two dB, dash five, dash five point five dB, dash five point eight dB, dash six point zero dB, dash six point one dB. Okay, now Stop. let's check it Play. again. Minus eight dB, minus eight dB. 
Okay, now both guitars are negative 6.1 decibels on the strip. Now let's check the bass track. Bass. Play. Minus 11 dB. Minus 15 dB. Dash 7.3 dB. Dash 6.1 dB. Minus 15 dB. Minus 8 dB. Minus 8 dB. Okay, that'll Stop. work for now. Let's check the piano. The last strip. Piano. Guitar 2. Piano. Okay, piano selected. Play. Minus 15 dB. Minus 15 dB. Minus 18 dB. Dash 3.5 dB. Minus 15 dB. Let's reset it all together. 0, 0.0 dB. Minus 8 dB. Okay. Still too hot. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Dash 2.3 dB. Dash 3.5 dB. Now, I notice that in this particular song, the uh, there's a lot of heavy work on the right side. So I'm going to switch the guitars out by simply changing the panning up. So I'm going to take R. the um, guitar 2, which is panning left originally, and I'm going to pan it to the right. 72% R. 56% R. To, by 56%. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I want to go back to the first strip, and I'll make sure it's in the first strip, because so, I know the guitar 1 is the last strip. And I'm going to move that to R. the left. 60, 40% L. 48% L. 64% L. 56% L. Now it should sound more like... Uh, and I want to make sure those drums are nice and drums. even. Bus pain. Preview. Drums. Play. Minus 6 dB. Minus 11 dB. Minus 6 dB. Master muted. Master. Stop. And say I want to add a little snare reverb now. This is the last bit of this little mixing project before I do a quick master and kind of display the song one last time. Now I want to add some snare, so I'm going to use the send control now that I have got everything else I wanted to do. So let's do the send control mode and go to the strip strip, strip selection. Okay. The first strip. The first and strip. make sure snare is selected. Snare. And I'm going to go to send control mode. Send control. Add snare has no send send for the snare. Insert send assistant dialog. Post send one to master. Okay, now Kick has no send one. Okay, I'm going to go to snare. I want to make sure that snare is going to be sent to a new bus, which I'm fixing to create. Bus pain. Done. Kick has no send one. Now Trust I'm going to make sure snare. Send 16% R. Send 24% R. Send centered. Post send one to drum. Post send one to guitars. Post send one to bus F. Okay, now that i got bus F, I'm going to go back to bus, bus pain. pain and get out of screen control, control mode. Bus F. Okay, i got what I wanted out of the send. So now that i got snare going to bus F. Guitars. Bus F. I'm going to change it S. to Selected bus F. Snare verb. Bus pain. Snare verb. Okay, now I'm going to save all my work here, so that way I don't crash Sonar my system. And now I am going to add some reverb to my snare track. Guitars. Snare verb. Snare verb after last effect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move to BST2. my DFX. DFX. Cakewalk. Sinitas FX. Sinitas Compressor. FX. Delay. Equalizer. Gate. Modulator. Multiband. Phase. Reverb. Surround. Reverb. There's my reverb, and I'm going to insert it. Reverb is inserted as effect one. Sinitas FX. Reverb. I want the reverb Sinitas UI to stay up on the screen because I'm fixing to go into effects control mode or plug -in control mode and scan through the presets of the reverb. So here we go. So I'm going to start the song. Play. Send control. Master has no send one. Strip control. Stop. Actually, what I want to do is I want to be first take the reverb. Snare verb solo. Snare verb. And I want to move it to the... I want to output it to the drums. Metronome. Preview. Drums. And I want to solo the drums. Drum solo. Play. Check the snare. Snare verb solo. Drums. Snare verb, snare verb solo. Okay, I'm gonna make drum solo. Snare verb, snare verb solo. Snare verb, snare verb solo. Snare verb, snare verb muted. Snare verb, snare verb. Let me make sure my snare send is correct. Sonar X3, producer demo star track. Send control, kick has no send one. Snare post send one to master, kick has no send one. Okay. Post send one to snare verb. Snare post send one to master. Send 16% R, send centered. Kick has no send one. S snare post send one to master. Kick has no send one. Post send one to snare verb. Post send one to guitars. Post send one to snare verb. Snare post send one to master. I don't know why it's not changing it, but it should. Okay, we'll fix that in a second. Um, Play. Has no send one. Kick has no send one. At Tom's has no send one. Post send one to drums. Post send one to guitar. Post send one to snare verb. Post send one to snare verb. Snare post send one to master. Okay. Stop. Let me double check on that. Let me go ahead and mess with my strip control. Snare. No plugin selected. Send control. Snare. Strip control. Snare. 
Bus pane. The last strip. Snare verb reverb is selected. Sanitas FX reverb F. Snare verb depth. Plug in control. Play. Not assigned. Strip control. Snare verb. Snare verb solo. Preview solo. Drums. Preview. Stop. Snare. Sonar X3. Producer demo star track. Send control. Snare post send one to snare verb. Okay, now it's working. Snare post play. I guess it was misreading. Okay, now I got snare post one to snare send one to snare verb. Bus pain. Snare. Strip control. Snare verb solo. I'm gonna make sure that that's even going to the drums. Guitars. Guitar rig flat. Guitars. Drums. And. Drum solo. Stop. Okay, for some reason I am not getting any signal out of my snare verb track. 0 0.4 dB. Let's find out what that's what that's what that is. Let's um. Guitar solo. Guitars. Drums. Snare verb. Play. Snare verb muted. Snare verb. Snare verb solo. Stop. Okay, now I should be getting sound from my snare because I can go to my snare track. Snare. Tracks pain. The first strip. Play. Snare solo. Bus pain. Snare verb solo. Snare verb. Drum solo. Drums. Oh, I bet you Stop. I know why. Let me, um, <laughs> I'm going to feel like an idiot here, and I probably will edit this out, so let's find out right quick. What's, I think I know what's going on. Snare verb reverb. Watch this. S session drummer one. Session this drummer one is good troubleshooting. Session drummer one demo. Now I got tra trumpet. session drummer Head one. Trumpet. I'm going to make sure. Kick output. Snare output one. That would be why. Context met. One check one. Two two. Session drummer one demo. Snare output two. Okay, now it should be working. Sonar X3. Producer demo star track. Bus pane. Sonar X3 producer dialogue save changes. Oh, Sonar X3. Okay, now. Play. There it goes. That's Stop. why I had my um, snare in the wrong output, so let's fix that right now that we got that working right. Kick. Tracks pane. We go to bus pane. Bus pane. Snare verb. Kick. Tracks pane. Snare. Bus pane. Play. Drum solo. Now we go to snare verb. Snare verb after last effect. Snare verb reverb. Snare verb reverb is selected. Check the. Sanitas FX reverb F. Snare verb demo. Toolbar. Snare verb after last effect. Snare verb after last effect. Oh yeah, I gotta go here. Plugging control. Sanitas FX reverb. Okay, I'm gonna work Stop. with that, and then when I turn the too hot on the reverb, so what I'm gonna do is go to control, snare verb, dash 7.8 dB, dash 6.3 dB, dash 7.8 dB, dash, dash 7.3 dB. It's annoying, uh, turn off that. Not announcing parameter changes. All right, now I'm gonna listen to the whole thing. Now, it sounds like all the instruments might be a little too loud, so what I'm going to do then is I am going to move the guitar volume down a bit. Guitars. Sonar X3, producer demo star track. Bus paint. Let me close that. Sanitas FX reverb F, snare verb depth. Sonar X3, producer demo. Now the bass. Trash paint. Piano. Piano. Stop. Play. Alright, and that's pretty much Stop. as simple as it gets for uh, making a quick little tune. You know, it has a little bit of troubleshooting there, but that's okay. That's part of the process. And, um... What I do want to do, though, is um, I want to put a slight noise gate on the guitar track. So what I want to do is use my guitar rig noise gate by selecting... Guitar 2. Guitar 2, guitar rig 5 is selected. 18%, 30%, 34%. Since I got my gate already pre-assigned to, um, to one of my quick access encoders, I can simply just go to the track. Guitar 1, guitar 1, guitar rig 5 is selected. 26%, dash 59.0 dB, 38%, 42%, 50%, 46%. Play. Forty-two percent. Guitar two. Piano. Guitar two. Guitar two. Guitar rig five is selected. Dash fifty-six. Forty-two percent. And there's that. Now, 
the last thing I want to do is go to the master. Guitars. Bus pane. The first strip. The first strip. The first strip. Metronome. Master. And I am going to do a quick, what I would like, to, what I like to call a temporary master or something to kind of just bring it out a little bit more. So I'm going to go to a couple of VSTs. Zenitas FX. Cakewalk. Cakewalk. DXX. VST2. Absinthe 5, Absinthe 5, 5 filter 2, BOO, Robert 2K, Channel Tools, Guitar Rig 5, LP64 Multiband. First thing I'm going to install is LP64 Multiband is inserted as effect 1. And then now that I'm going to select Master it. Master LP64 Multiband is selected. And I'm going to go Plugging to control. control. LP64 Multiband. And I'm going to play. And then that Stop. takes care of that. Script control. The last Master. thing I want to do. Master after last effect. Is I'm going to install the Boost 11, which is just a simple little plug-in. Guitar rig plot, channel tools, Robert 2K, BOST 11. Insert. BOST 11 is inserted as effect 2. Boost 11A. Now I am going to go back into I'm going to select it. Master BOST 11 is selected. Plug-in control, play. BOST 11. Ooh, hello. Check your level. Minus 6 dB. Minus 3 dB. Alright, that's your master level. Minus 6 dB. It can come up a little bit. Announcing parameter changes. Alright, now there's your little groove, and that's the basics and you can see that I did this without even looking at the screen I went to a little bit of editing a little bit of troubleshooting recorded some VSTs recorded some drums got some guitars Used guitar rig 5 I took a page out of every book in this and even got me a nice little something measure going one. measure one measure one measure two measure three measure four and uh, I'm just gonna leave you out by playing the song in the background and saying a few things real quick and uh, I want to say thank you guys for checking this video out I'm sorry it was a little long but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you guys have learned something from this tutorial series. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer them to the best of my abilities. And again, I want to say thank you all for following me, and be sure you subscribe. And again, my name is G-Rad. Everybody calls me G-Rad anyways, or G. So thank you guys again, and I hope you guys have a good time, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.